In this video, I'm going to show you what you'll need in order to have your instrument cluster powered up on the bench. Now, a lot of people have been asking what's the wiring diagrams, uh, how hard is it to get the parts to make this bench harness, and it's really, really simple, to be honest. So all you need are these plugs here from any car that you can get at the wrecking yard. So you'll need the blue plug and the green plug. And all I've done here is I've got like this little interface thing because I just had this as a spare connector. You probably don't need that and you can just directly connect your power lines here. But I just did it so I could have some spare power later on if I needed. You'll also need your OBD plug here. And then from the power line, so your ground and your 12 volt, you need something to hook into a power supply. So you need your plugs, three plugs, these are the most important three plugs that you'll need, and then a power supply here. So this basically feeds power into the harness from the wall, and this is a 12 volt power supply at five amps. You just want something really low, you don't need much amperage to give power to your instrument cluster. And of course, to give this all a bit of a test, is a spare instrument cluster which has the green and blue plug. So with this kit here, you'll be able to use that to power up any cluster from about 1998 to 2005, 2006 even. Just as long as I have these green and um, blue plugs on the back. Now, as you can see, this is a really basic setup. I didn't bother to make this any prettier than it needs to be. I made it like this once and all I've needed to do is to repair it once. You can see that here, I just needed to make a repair there, but the rest of the time it's been working very well. So what exactly do you need from these plugs? Not much really. So from the blue plug, this is um, sending power and ground, uh, sometimes K-line as well to the um, OBD port. So you really only need three wires from this plug here. From the green plug, this is the plug that you will need one wire from, and that is the K-Line communications wire. That then runs down here and connects up to the OBD port where you've got your power, there's two grounds there, and then the cane line. This isn't used. You can see I've just put it back here and into itself. That's not being used for anything. But at the OBD port, you only really need three, four wires at the most. Those power cables then run up and connect here. And then these join up to the power supply, which then allows the instrument cluster to turn on. Okay, so I've got my power supply plugged into the wall. It's not turned on yet. The green light isn't on there, but that's how um, I know that that's on, the green light. Hook the positive up to positive from the harness, negative up to negative. Nice and easy. And we won't be connecting into anything here, so that can just stay over there. With your instrument cluster, simple, you plug in. And then the green plug, so you have to make sure you've got a little bit of play here in that wire so that you are able to swing it over and plug it in. Plug that in. You don't really need the pink locking bit, bit um, but if you've got it, that's you know, handy. Plug that in. Cool. So that's all plugged in. So just give it a test run. I'll just turn the power supply on. There you go, nice and easy. So if I disconnect here, you can see that there's no power to the instrument cluster anymore. Connect it back up, nice and simple setup there. Now some people have like a little button or a switch or something that they put um, somewhere in between there so that they can easily flick it on and off up on the bench here. I've really made this a really simple setup. I've really made this very simple and just turn it on at the wall. All right, so now you know how that's all hooked up and connected and what's important. Here are the wiring diagrams for the different, here are the wire, wiring diagrams for the different cars. 
and you get to know that annoying noise very, very, very quickly. These are the two plugs you'll need from the Wreckers or from online. Here's the pinout for all the Audis and VWs displayed on the screen and the pins to focus on for power, ground and K-line to get the bench harness working. It's quite simple once you know what to do. The other component required is an OBD plug which is the female side and again grab it from the records or online. And here's the pinout and the pins to focus on for power, ground and K-line for the OBD2 plug. Here's how you wire it all up. Starting at the K-lines, join those two up then connect the two grounds from the instrument cluster plug to the OBD ground. You want a Y junction in your wiring so the ground can connect to the power supply. Then connect the ignition and permanent 12 volts from the instrument cluster plug to the OBD 12 volt wire. Again, you want a Y junction in your wiring so the 12 volts can connect to the power supply. And that's pretty much it. Here's the pinout and focus pins for the Audi A4 B6 and B7 which is slightly different to the previous wiring diagram, but the principles are the same. So you should be able to wire that up with the previous information. Once you're happy with the wiring, you can do your bench test. Connect the red wire to the power supply positive and the black or brown ground wire to the power supply ground. Plug in your OBD2 cable if you have one and then plug the instrument cluster plugs into your instrument cluster. Turn on the power to the power supply and you should have a working bench harness for your Audi or VW instrument clusters. You'll now be able to also read the data from your instrument cluster using VAG EEPROM Programmer, which you can find the link to the video up in the top right hand corner of the screen. Hope this video helps you get your instruments powered up on the bench and remember to like and subscribe for more Audi and VW videos. Thanks for watching. Bye. There you go, nice and easy.